Hello my dear friends I am Jyotirvid Pavan Kumar let us in this video talk about a very important topic which is what is the purpose of life many people are, are confused and many people think there is no specific purpose to life see in the material sense in the worldly sense the purpose of life differs from person to person because each person has certain desires certain dreams which that person wants to accomplish right that is a different thing but here in this video we are more concerned about our spiritual purpose of life do not forget that you are not only this physical body down here in the third dimension each person is as a puppet or representative or an instrument of his or her over self over self is a subtle entity existing in the ninth dimension and we are here down in the third dimension the over self cannot come down here it is a subtle entity so when the over self desires to have certain experiences in order to evolve further so that over self sends a human in the form of female or male depends upon what type of experience is required in a life so each person has planned life before birth and each person has certain tasks which that person is required to accomplish during his or her life upon earth and when you go back after death the success of your life which you have lived upon this earth will be evaluated depending upon whether you were able to accomplish the tasks which you had planned before birth and also on other things like how did you live did you live life positively all these things but it will it is important that you accomplish the tasks which you had planned before birth now all the memory of planning about life before birth is not in your conscious mind it is all there but it is in the subconscious mind so the question is how to go about it how to know how to move in the right direction now for that you need to follow certain points in life it is important the very first thing is you must be certain that in the spiritual sense there is a specific purpose right then live life positively take life as it comes and do not run away from the responsibilities which nature puts on your shoulders depending upon your situation your place in life so take accept the responsibilities not as a burden but as a duty right second devote some time to yourself mostly people are busy outside and they have excuse that they do not have time but even the busiest person can spare 15 minutes or half an hour and when you know it is important then you can spare at least half an hour sit in silence introspect try to see what are your positive traits and what are your negative traits each person has some positive traits and some negative traits try to develop 
further the positive traits so that your future becomes brighter and brighter and try to overcome the negative traits because your negative traits traits of greed lust jealousy all these traits are obstacles in your path to evolution work on that do some self study this is self study trying to understand yourself right also devote some time to pranayam and meditation pranayam which is breathing exercises are essential because without pranayam you won't be able to discipline your mind so if your mind is not disciplined you won't be able to take the right decisions at the right time you won't be able to live life with equanimity of mind so you devote some time to pranayam and meditation so what will happen gradually you will develop intuition and nature will guide you intuitively to take the right decisions at the right time in that way you will move in the right direction to accomplish the tasks which you had planned nature will help through your intuition see this is so important now in addition to that what you have to do help others in whatever way you can by doing that you won't be just fulfilling your social obligations but you will be generating good karma for your future if you help others help can be through any way not just money money is one thing you can help if you have access of money but you can help through caring others to helping others in their need in whatever way you can and there is a law of nature whatever you give is bound to come back to you if you give understanding care to others then in your time of need you are going to get help it is going to come there through nature right it is law of nature whatever you give is bound to come back to you if you give good good will come to you if you give evil bad then bad is going to come to you so it is important that you help others in whatever way you can especially to those who are less privileged than you so my dear friends if you understand this and all these points which i have mentioned you bring into your life give devote some time to these and then you will be moving the right direction to make your life upon earth as a success in the spiritual sense so when you go up there after death your life will be evaluated and you will rejoice your future will depend upon this evaluation how you lived life upon earth did you live life in positive way taking life as it comes fulfilling your responsibilities not as a burden but as your duty did you li- live life e- with equanimity of mind did you not go to negative when you pass through bad times negative times see it is irony of life that nobody learns through comforts so even the difficulties obstacles are preplanned in order to have certain experiences which can be had only through sorrow and suffering so accept these things even the negative times but stay positive i hope this video will help you to understand that there is a definite purpose to life in the spiritual sense and what you can do how you can go about to make your life upon earth 
एज ए सक्सेस थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग